In this tutorial, I will teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube with only 3 moves. Now I know there are lots and lots of tutorials, but I wanted to do my own because I can always say something a little bit different and be able to help you in a certain way. So here we go, it's very simple. So first let's scramble the cube. Maybe the best thing that you can do is to write down the steps. I will leave them here written down so that you always remember and then it will be very easy to follow this tutorial. So the first step is to make the daisy and the daisy it's like the flower so what you want is to have this yellow center and the four white edges here like the flower. So we already have two edges here so let's bring this one up That's three. And now the, the other one is down here, so we bring it to this layer, like this, and then just bring it up like this, and we have the daisy. Now with this it's very simple to make the white cross, which is the next step. What we want to do is to align these colors with these centers. So this is red, this is blue. So let's align the red with the red. So the red is here, so just align it like this and bring this white edge down with this double uh, turn and then just keep doing this so the next one is blue let's align it with the blue okay bring it down the next one is orange let's align it with the orange bring it down and the next one is green let's align it with the green and bring it down and with this we have the white cross and if you notice it's very important to have the edges aligned with the corresponding centers, okay? The next step is to do the white face so that we have the, the first layer all done. So what we want to do is to put the white down and search for pieces in the top with some white stickers. For example this one. So this is white, red and green. So we need to put it between the red and the green center. So we have here the red and here the green. So we have to put this in here between these two centers. So just turn it like this. Now what you want is to bring this down here. And to do that we're gonna use the first move which is very easy. So it goes like this. You rotate the right layer up, then the upper layer, and then the right layer back down, and the upper layer to the other way. And we just keep doing this until the piece is correctly oriented here so the white goes down so just keep doing this up left down right and again up left down right it's not still in place so up left down right up left down right so now we see it's in place okay so that's the first one let's find another one for example this one so this is white blue and orange Let's align it between the orange and blue centers and do the same. Up left, down right, up left, down right, up left, down right, until it goes into place. And now let's go for the next one. So this is white, green and orange. So let's put it between green and orange centers and do it again. Up left, down right, up left, down right. Okay, it's in place and now we realize there's no more white pieces on top because it's down here but it's not in the correct way so we need to bring this up with the same move up left down, right now it's here it's between the blue and red centers that are the colors of this piece so let's just keep doing this move up left down right up left down right left down right and with this we have the first white face and one layer completely done. The next step is to make this middle layer, the second layer, to have all the two first layers done. So to do that we're going to look at the upper layer and find uh, edge pieces. So the edge pieces are these middle ones, these four ones. To find edge pieces that don't have yellow. So this one has yellow here, this one has yellow here, and this one has yellow here. So here we have one that doesn't have yellow. So this is blue and red, so we're going to align the blue here with the blue. And the other color we see here is red, so the red center is here. So what we want to do is to move this away from the red center, so move it away. 
and since we moved it to the left we're going to start with the right hand now and just do the same move that we did before up left down right and we took this out of place so we need to put this here again so to do that just rotate the cube to the left like this and do the same move but with the left hand so up now instead of going left you go right it's the other way around down left and with this we put this into place as well as this edge piece which is what we want now let's find another piece here that doesn't have yellow so for example this one blue and orange let's align it with the blue and now the orange center is here it's on the left so it will be opposite to what we just did for this one piece so now we're going to move this away from the orange so it goes right since it was right now we start with the left hand and do the same move up right down left and now we have to put this here so we rotate the cube to the right this time to have this with the, the hand that we're going to do the move and do the same move now with the right hand up left down right so we just keep doing this now we have this one so red align it with the red green we move it away from the green center like this since it goes to the left we start with the right hand up left down right now put rotate the cube so that you put these into place with the same move but with the left hand up right down left Now the last one, green and orange, so it's already aligned with the green, this is orange, let's move it away from the orange center here, and start with the right hand, up, left, down, right, rotate the cube to the left, and do the same with the left hand, up, right, down, left. So it is, we made all the first two layers. If you get to a case that you don't have any edge piece in the top that doesn't have yellow, they all have yellow. You just bring one of these ones up with the same move so you just do with the right hand up left down right then you rotate the cube and do the same with the left hand up right down left and you bring one of the pieces to the upper layer and keep doing this now in the last layer we can have three cases so the first one is the dot you only have this yellow dot here you don't have any yellow edge if you have this case just hold the cube anyway doesn't matter and do the same move but first we rotate this front layer like this and do that same move up left down right and then just bring this front layer back up again okay and with this we get into the second case which is this L shape so if you have this L shape just put it so that it goes back and to the left and do the same move so the front layer goes down like this then with the right hand up left down right and then the front face goes up again and this gets us to the third case if you have this case make sure that the bar is horizontal not vertical okay so rotate it so that it's horizontal and do the same move so the front layer down with the right hand up left down right and the front layer back up with this we have the yellow cross which is what we wanted now the next step is to make sure that all the edges are aligned with the centers so we want to align as many edges as we can so this is aligned blue with the blue this is not aligned this is aligned and this is not aligned so in this case no matter how I rotate the cube I will only have two edges aligned okay so if you have this case just hold it so that you have one of them in the front and the other in the back and we'll do the second move which we need to know uh, that's a little bit longer but easy to memorize so the first part is the same as the other one so you go up left down but now instead of going to the right we want to go all, uh, to the left again up again and now you have to bring these ones back here so just rotate it twice and bring it back down okay so with this we just align these two adjacent uh, edge pieces 
and these ones are not aligned. So this is the second case. If you have these two adjacent, you hold it, you hold them so that one is in the back and the other one is on the right. And do the same move. Up, left, down, left again, up, two turns, and down. And with this, we were able to align all the edge pieces with the centers. And now we go into the to the last phase. So now in this case we have this yellow corner is in place as you can see but the other ones are not as you can see this is red blue and yellow it's between green orange and yellow so it's not in the right spot this one is not in the right spot because it's orange and green it should be orange and blue and this one is not in the right spot so this is the only one in the right spot so if you have this just hold this here on the right and we're going to do the third move we need to know and if you don't have any in the right spot just hold it any, anyway it doesn't matter and do this move so you start with the upper layer going left and this goes up and now do the same with the left hand going right up and now we're going to do the same but the other way around so left down right down and uh, now we still have one in place, but the other ones are not in place, so we just keep doing this, with this on the right. Left, up, right, up. Now going down, left, down, right, down. So here we have this in place. This is in the right spot, green and orange, it's between green and orange. This is blue, orange, between blue, orange, so it's okay. And this one as well blue red between blue and red so they are all in the right spot now the last step is to orient them in the right way so that the yellow faces up and we solve the cube just put the yellow down and find one that's not solved so this one is not solved so you hold it here on the right bottom and do the first move we learned up left on right and just keep doing this until the yellow faces down there we go, now just bring the next one, don't worry the cube is all messed up, but it will go into place, just bring this one to the, to the same spot and do the same thing again, until the yellow goes down, there we go, bring the next one and do it again, and there we go, we just solved the cube. So that's it everyone, I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments and leave me a like it, if it helped you. And if you had any step that you didn't understand or any case that I didn't mention, just write down in the comments and I will try to help you. So that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more content about the cube. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.